Deputy Chairman, sir, the surrogacy regulation bill 2019, a lot of the speakers before me have mostly covered all the points, but I'll just um, stress on a few clauses. One is the abandoned child, which means a child born out of surrogacy procedure who has been deserted by intending parents or guardians and declared as abandoned by appropriate authority after due inquiry. So basically this bill is uh, covering altruistic surrogacy and commercial surrogacy, which is banned. So altruistic surrogacy means in which no charge expenses, fees, remuneration or monetary incentives of whatever nature except for medical expenses incurred on surrogate mother and insurance coverage for the surrogate mother are given to the surrogate mother or her dependents or representatives. So embryo means, which is very important in this bill, means a developing or developed organism after fertilization till the end of 56 days. So, Another important part of this bill is that it, it, it gives the authorities a 90-day limit for granting or rejecting applications, which is a very important uh, um, part of this bill. There are various uh, differences between the 2016 bill and, and the present one, sir. For violations, minimal jail term was five years and fine up to 10 lakh. So in this bill, the minimum term of five years is replaced with maximum term of five years. For initiating commercial surgery, minimum five years, fine up to 10 lakh. So in this bill, the minimum term of five years is again replaced with maximum term of five years. For contravening any provision for which no punishment, not specified, minimum three years, fine up to five lakh, so in this bill, the minimum jail term of three years has been replaced with maximum term of three years. For certain offenses, including exploitation, importing of embryo, minimum 10 years, that was in 2016, fine up to 10 lakh. So in this bill, the minimum jail term of 10 years is replaced with maximum 10 years. So another important factor I would like to stress upon is that, is there any age limit for surrogating any child. So there is a case, as Dr. Watts had mentioned about Haryana. There need, there's therefore a need to define the legality and ethicality of the practice. So there's a case that in Haryana, Ramjit Raghav of Haryana and his 50-year-old wife Shakuntla, who had a child at the ripe of old age of Mr. Uh, Ramit Raga was 96 years and his wife Shakuntla was 54 years. So is this ethical or are they lucky? I don't know. That's another point to know. So there needs, uh, there's a need to protect the rights of surrogating mothers and also demanding the elimination of middlemen. According to a study published by the Center of Social Research, an NGO dealing with women issues, in 2014, 88% of surrogate mothers in Delhi and 76% in Mumbai did not know the terms of their contracts. So there have been several reports about exploitation of surrogate mothers who are confined to hostels during pregnancy and not allowed to meet their families and women who do it repeatedly for a paltry amount, putting their own bodies at risk. So this bill seeks to put an end to that. So India has emerged as a surrogacy hub for couples from different countries for the past few years. There have been reported incidents of unethical practices, exploitation surrogate of surrogate mothers, abandonment of children, born out of surrogacy, and import of human embryos and gametes. So gamet is a new term. Even I have not heard, have not heard of this term, but this is the first time I've heard of this term. So what is a gamet? A gamet under the bill is intending couples can commission. Gamet is a sperm and egg donor. 
Under the bill, intending couples can commission a surrogacy only after proving infertility. Thus, gametes from couple may not be a possibility due to the infertility. In such cases, the gametes will be required to be donated by others. The committee noted that there is no mention of an egg or sperm donor in the bill. It is recommended that the provision of gamete donation must be incorporated in the bill, which I'm sure it is. So, uh, so why is India become such a popular destination? Because we have skilled doctors, low cost of equipment, and easy access to surrogates and undemanding legal frameworks have made the country an att attractive destination for surrogate, uh, surrogacy procedures. So clinics have sprung over all over India, but I must mention Gujarat is the, is the surrogacy capital in India. So the maximum clinics are there. The surrogacy market in India is about 2.9 billion. And of course, medical tourism is huge, absolutely huge in India, sir. So the, as Dr. Vass also mentioned that there was a case of a Japanese couple who got divorced and Japan had outlawed surrogacy. So these are all the peculiar situations because a lot of people who, who uh, ask for surrogacy are also coming from abroad, sir. So in baby gammy case of Thailand in August 2014, an Australian couple abandoned a baby with Down syndrome, but accepted the more healthier twin. So um, that's very unfortunate. So one has to look into all these sort of uh, uh, shortfalls. Sir. So uh, out of a lot of countries that allow surrogacy, commercial surrogacy, uh, Russia and Ukraine, but surprisingly, um, California also in the United States, you allowed commercial surrogacy, sir. The fees of um, surrogates range between $2,500 to $7,000, while the cost of procedures range between $10,000 to $35,000. The costs are estimated to be almost five times higher in other countries than in India. Around 15 countries had banned commercial surrogacy. In Thailand, yes. Cambodia had become a major destination. So uh, Cambodia still provides a uh, healthy ground for surrogacy. So another report by Melissa Dave in the same paper in 2014 revealed that there, are, there was a demand for revoking the ban on commercial surrogacy in Australia following cases of multiple pregnancies at premature births in commercial overseas arrangements. Three quarters, this is a point to note, sir, three quarters of the parents in these cases had entered into surrogacy arrangements in India. So there's a lot of people coming from abroad and having arrangements here. So in Australia, you're allowed to advertise surrogacy, but not paid advertising, sir. So, sir, these are the few points I've mentioned. Thank you very much for allowing me to speak.